A court injunction to continue protesting against the rape and murder of a trainee doctor at a state-run hospital in Kolkata is being disregarded by junior doctors in the city. India was rocked by widespread indignation following the 31-year-old woman's death was found on August 9. A federal agency is currently looking into the crime that resulted in the arrest of a volunteer from a hospital. Doctors in Kolkata said they will not back down until their demands are met, despite the fact that protests have subsided in other regions of India. Five main demands have been made by the protesters, who have set up camp outside the state's health department headquarters. Among them are increased protection for health workers, senior police, officers to be removed, and justice for the victim. Tuesday night was the last day the Supreme Court had given them to go back to work. A case pertaining to the topic is presently being heard by the court. The West Bengal State Administration, whose capital is Kolkata, is now at a disadvantage due to the protests. The police and municipal government have been criticized by the courts for treating the matter improperly, an accusation they have refuted. According to the state government, 23 people have passed away as a result of not receiving medical care during the strike. Social media videos and local television reports also include people complaining that their care has suffered as a result of the doctor's absence. However, the doctors demonstrating claim to have made sure emergency services are unaffected. Doctors in their senior years are making every effort possible, stated Dr. Amrita Bhattacharya of the Junior Doctors Front of West Bengal. We are providing healthcare through telemedicine from the protest sites. We're not even saying that they can take the place of a hospital's amenities, our job is to care for patients. The doctors wanted to meet with the state's chief minister, Mamata Banerjee, live on television, but the authorities turned down their request on Wednesday. While protests are taking place all over the state, organizers claim that Kolkata is seeing the most of them. According to the Indian Express, during the course of the previous month, over 300 demonstrations took place in Kolkata, many of these midnight events organized by women. Following the rape and death of a doctor, Indian women spearhead nighttime protests. Top court says the rape and murder of a doctor in Kolkata has shaken India. A few of the protests have also turned into wild. Political demonstrations when demonstrators and police have fought. When the physicians in Kolkata shout slogans, sing, and dance, other healthcare professionals and non medical individuals frequently join them. Numerous posters and banners calling for the victims' justice are displayed behind them. Indian law bans naming victims of sex crimes, therefore, many demonstrators and press sources call her abhya, which means courageous. Doctors on the protest trail said that they are horrified by their colleagues' terrible murder at work. Prior to this, Dr. Bhattacharya explains, her mother would give her a call on her way to work, inquiring as to whether she had arrived at the hospital without incident. I'm all right if I've made it to the hospital. We were trained to think in this way, she remarked. How can we return to work knowing that the individuals who killed our colleague could be lying in wait right next to us? West Bengal is ruled by the Trinamool Congress Party, a state. Official claimed on Wednesday that their competitors have politicized the protests. Doctors, however, maintain that they have no affiliation with any political party or ideology. According to Dr. Sumantra Day, individuals from diverse backgrounds and Political parties are taking part in the protests in their individual capacities. As of now, our mentors are senior doctors. We ask them what the best course of action is, and we decide whether or not to heed their advice, he stated. He describes. This is a united front and uses an analogy from football to make his argument. Even though we are representing India here, we could be Barcelona or Manchester United. 